Life is a journey filled with ups and downs, where finding motivation and inspiration becomes essential. For those who have faith in Jesus Christ and God, this quest is deeply rooted in their spiritual beliefs. Together, motivated by faith in Jesus and God, these forces create a fulfilling life, guiding us through life's twists and turns, leading us towards self-discovery and growth. In the video ahead, we'll explore how faith-based motivation and inspiration can be cultivated, from discovering purpose to nurturing resilience. Join us on this faith-filled journey, as we unlock the secrets to a life filled with motivation and inspiration, all under the loving guidance of Jesus and God. With faith as our compass, we embark on a transformative quest, making dreams a reality under their loving care. Romans 12 verse 16 Live in harmony with one another. Do not be haughty, but associate with the lowly. Never be wise in your own sight. 1 Corinthians 1 verse 10 I appeal to you, brothers, by the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that all of you agree, and that there be no divisions among you, but that you be united in the same mind and the same judgment. Psalm 133 verse 1 Behold, how good and pleasant it is when brothers dwell in unity. Colossians 3 verse 14 And above all these put on love, which binds everything together in perfect harmony. Ephesians 4 verse 3 Eager to maintain the unity of the Spirit in the bond of peace. Philippians 2 verse 2 Complete my joy by being of the same mind, having the same love, being in full accord and of one mind. 1 Peter 3 verse 8 Finally, all of you have unity of mind, sympathy, brotherly love, a tender heart, and a humble mind. Proverbs 6 verses 16 to 19 There are six things that the Lord hates, seven that are an abomination to him, haughty eyes, a lying tongue, and hands that shed innocent blood, a heart that devises wicked plans, feet that make haste to run to evil, a false witness who breathes out lies, and one who sows discord among brothers. Matthew 18 verses 19 to 20. Again I say to you, if two of you agree on earth about anything they ask, it will be done for them by my Father in heaven. For where two or three are gathered in my name, there am I among them. Psalm 133 verse 3 It is like the dew of Hermon, which falls on the mountains of Zion. For there the Lord has commanded the blessing, life forevermore. 1 Corinthians 3 verse 3 For you are still of the flesh. For while there is jealousy and strife among you, are you not of the flesh and behaving only in a human way? Psalm 34 verse 14 Turn away from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. John 17 verse 21 That they may all be one just as you, Father, are in me, and I in you, that they also may be in us, so that the world may believe that you have sent me. Romans 15 verse 5 May the God of endurance and encouragement grant you to live in such harmony with one another, in accord with Christ Jesus. James 3 verse 17 but the wisdom from above is first pure, then peaceable, gentle, open to reason, full of mercy and good fruits, impartial and sincere. 1 Corinthians 12 verse 25 That there may be no division in the body, but that the members may have the same care for one another. Psalm 85 verse 10 Steadfast love and faithfulness meet. Righteousness and peace kiss each other. Colossians 3 verse 15 And let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, 
to which indeed you were called in one body, and be thankful. Proverbs 16 verse 7 When a man's ways please the Lord, he makes even his enemies to be at peace with him. Galatians 5 verses 22 to 23 But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Against such things there is no law. Psalm 122 verses 8 to 9 For my brothers and companions' sake, I will say, Peace be within you. For the sake of the house of the Lord our God, I will seek your good. 2 Corinthians 13 verse 11 Finally, brothers, rejoice. Aim for restoration. Comfort one another. Agree with one another. Live in peace. And the God of love and peace will be with you. Proverbs 15 verse 1 A soft answer turns away wrath but a harsh word stirs up anger. 1 Peter 5 verse 5 Likewise, you who are younger, be subject to the elders. Clothe yourselves, all of you, with humility toward one another, for God opposes the proud but gives grace to the humble. James 4 verses 1 to 2 What causes quarrels and what causes fights among you? Is it not this, that your passions are at war within you? You desire and do not have, so you murder. You covet and cannot obtain, so you fight and quarrel. You do not have, because you do not ask. Proverbs 20 verse 3 It is an honor for a man to keep aloof from strife, but every fool will be quarreling. 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 13 And to esteem them very highly in love because of their work. Be at peace among yourselves. Psalm 34 verse 13 Keep your tongue from evil and your lips from speaking deceit. Galatians 6 verse 2 Bear one another's burdens and so fulfill the law of Christ. Proverbs 10 verse 12 Hatred stirs up strife, but love covers all offenses. Romans 14 verse 19 So then let us pursue what makes for peace and for mutual upbuilding. Psalm 133 verse 2 It is like the precious oil on the head, running down on the beard, on the beard of Aaron, running down on the collar of his robes. 1 Peter 4 verse 8 Above all, keep loving one another earnestly, since love covers a multitude of sins. Proverbs 17 verse 9 Whoever covers an offense seeks love, but he who repeats a matter separates close friends. Ephesians 4 verse 32 be kind to one another, tender-hearted, forgiving one another, as God and Christ forgave you. Proverbs 12 verse 20 Deceit is in the heart of those who devise evil, but those who plan peace have joy. Philippians 1 verse 27 Only let your manner of life be worthy of the gospel of Christ so that whether I come and see you or am absent, I may hear of you that you are standing firm in one spirit, with one mind striving side by side for the faith of the gospel. Matthew 5 verse 9 Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called sons of God. Psalm 29 verse 11 May the Lord give strength to his people, May the Lord bless his people with peace. Colossians 3 verses 13 to 14 Bearing with one another and if one has a complaint against another, forgiving each other. As the Lord has forgiven you, so you also must forgive. And above all these put on love, 
which binds everything together in perfect harmony. Proverbs 13 verse 10 By insolence comes nothing but strife, but with those who take advice is wisdom. John 13 verses 34 to 35 A new commandment I give to you, that you love one another, just as I have loved you, you also are to love one another. By this all people will know that you are my disciples if you have love for one another. Proverbs 16 verse 28 A dishonest man spreads strife, and a whisperer separates close friends. 2 Timothy 2 verse 22 so flee youthful passions and pursue righteousness, faith, love, and peace, along with those who call on the Lord from a pure heart. Proverbs 17 verse 14 The beginning of strife is like letting out water, so quit before the quarrel breaks out. Hebrews 12 verse 14 Strive for peace with everyone, and for the holiness without which no one will see the Lord. Proverbs 25 verse 21 If your enemy is hungry, give him bread to eat, and if he is thirsty, give him water to drink. Romans 16 verse 17 I appeal to you, brothers, to watch out for those who cause divisions and create obstacles contrary to the doctrine that you have been taught. Avoid them. Proverbs 29 verse 22 A man of wrath stirs up strife, and one given to anger causes much transgression. Romans 14 verse 1 As for the one who is weak in faith, Welcome him, but not to quarrel over opinions. Proverbs 22 verse 10 Drive out a scoffer, and strife will go out, and quarreling and abuse will cease. 1 Corinthians 6 verse 7 To have lawsuits at all with one another is already a defeat for you. Why not rather suffer wrong? Why not rather be defrauded? Proverbs 26 verse 17 Whoever meddles in a quarrel not his own is like one who takes a passing dog by the ears. Proverbs 30 verse 33 For pressing milk produces curds, pressing the nose produces blood, and pressing anger produces strife. Psalm 28 verse 7 The Lord is my strength and my shield, in him my heart trusts, and I am helped, my heart exults, and with my song I give thanks to him. Galatians 5 verses 19 to 21 Now the works of the flesh are evident, sexual immorality, impurity, sensuality, idolatry, sorcery, enmity, strife, jealousy, fits of anger, rivalries, dissensions, divisions, envy, drunkenness, orgies, and things like these. I warn you, as I warned you before, that those who do such things will not inherit the kingdom of God. Proverbs 20 verse 22. Do not say, I will repay evil. Wait for the Lord, and he will deliver you. 1 Peter 3 verses 10 to 11 For whoever desires to love life and see good days, let him keep his tongue from evil and his lips from speaking deceit. Let him turn away from evil and do good. Let him seek peace and pursue it. Matthew 5 verses 23 to 24 so if you are offering your gift at the altar and there remember that your brother has something against you, leave your gift there before the altar and go. First, be reconciled to your brother, and then come and offer your gift. Proverbs 15 verse 18 A hot-tempered man stirs up strife, but he who is slow to anger quiets contention. Romans 15 verse 6 
that together you may with one voice glorify the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Proverbs 19 verse 11 Good sense makes one slow to anger, and it is his glory to overlook an offense. 1 Corinthians 3 verse 16 Do you not know that you are God's temple and that God's Spirit dwells in you? Proverbs 21 verse 19 It is better to live in a desert land than with a quarrelsome and fretful woman. Ephesians 4 verses 1 to 3 I therefore, a prisoner for the Lord, urge you to walk in a manner worthy of the calling to which you have been called, with all humility and gentleness, with patience, bearing with one another in love, eager to maintain the unity of the Spirit in the bond of peace. Proverbs 25 verse 15 with patience a ruler may be persuaded, and a soft tongue will break a bone. Romans 16 verses 17 to 18 I appeal to you, brothers, to watch out for those who cause divisions and create obstacles contrary to the doctrine that you have been taught. Avoid them. For such persons do not serve our Lord Christ, but their own appetites and by smooth talk and flattery they deceive the hearts of the naive. Proverbs 26 verse 20 For lack of wood the fire goes out, and where there is no whisperer, quarreling ceases. 1 Corinthians 12 verse 12 For just as the body is one and has many members, and all the members of the body, though many, are one body, so it is with Christ. Proverbs 29 verse 11 A fool gives full vent to his spirit, but a wise man quietly holds it back. Psalm 20 verse 7 Some trust in chariots and some in horses, but we trust in the name of the Lord our God. Romans 15 verses 5 to 6 May the God who gives endurance and encouragement give you the same attitude of mind toward each other that Christ Jesus had, so that with one mind and one voice you may glorify the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. 1 Corinthians 1 verse 10 I appeal to you, brothers and sisters, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that all of you agree with one another in what you say and that there be no divisions among you, but that you be perfectly united in mind and thought. Psalm 133 verse 1 How good and pleasant it is when God's people live together in unity. Ephesians 4 verse 3 Make every effort to keep the unity of the Spirit through the bond of peace. Colossians 3 verse 14 And over all these virtues put on love, which binds them all together in perfect unity. Philippians 2 verse 2 Then make my joy complete by being like-minded, having the same love, being one in spirit and of one mind. 1 Peter 3 verse 8 Finally, all of you, be like-minded, be sympathetic, love one another, be compassionate and humble. Psalm 34 verse 14 Turn from evil and do good, seek peace and pursue it. Proverbs 6 verses 16 to 19 There are six things the Lord hates, seven that are detestable to him, haughty eyes, a lying tongue, hands that shed innocent blood, a heart that devises wicked schemes, feet that are quick to rushing to evil, a false witness who pours out lies and a person who stirs up conflict in the community. Matthew 18 verses 19 to 20. Again, truly I tell you that if two of you on earth agree about anything they ask for, it will be done for them by my Father in heaven. 
For where two or three gather in my name, there am I with them. Proverbs 15 verse 18 A hot-tempered person stirs up conflict, but the one who is patient calms a quarrel. James 3 verses 17 to 18 But the wisdom that comes from heaven is first of all pure, then peace-loving, considerate, submissive, full of mercy and good fruit, impartial and sincere. Peacemakers who sow in peace reap a harvest of righteousness. Proverbs 16 verse 7 When the Lord takes pleasure in anyone's way, he causes their enemies to make peace with them. 1 Corinthians 14 verse 33 for God is not a God of disorder, but of peace as in all the congregations of the Lord's people. Hebrews 12 verse 14. Make every effort to live in peace with everyone and to be holy. Without holiness, no one will see the Lord. 2 Corinthians 13 verse 11. Finally, brothers and sisters, rejoice. Strive for full restoration. Encourage one another. Be of one mind. Live in peace. And the God of love and peace will be with you. Proverbs 17 verse 14. Starting a quarrel is like breaching a dam. So drop the matter before a dispute breaks out. Proverbs 10 verse 12. Hatred stirs up conflict but love covers over all wrongs. Proverbs 12 verse 18 The words of the reckless pierce like swords, but the tongue of the wise brings healing. Matthew 5 verse 9 Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. James 1 verses 19 to 20 My dear brothers and sisters, take note of this. Everyone should be quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to become angry, because human anger does not produce the righteousness that God desires. Romans 12 verse 16 Live in harmony with one another. Do not be proud, but be willing to associate with people of low position. Do not be conceited, Psalm 19 verse 14 May these words of my mouth and this meditation of my heart be pleasing in your sight, Lord, my rock and my redeemer. James 4 verses 1 to 2 What causes fights and quarrels among you? Don't they come from your desires that battle within you? You desire but do not have, so you kill. You covet, but you cannot get what you want, so you quarrel and fight. You do not have because you do not ask God. Proverbs 25 verses 21 to 22. If your enemy is hungry, give him food to eat. If he is thirsty, give him water to drink. In doing this, you will heap burning coals on his head and the Lord will reward you. Romans 14 verse 19 Let us therefore make every effort to do what leads to peace and to mutual edification. Galatians 5 verses 22 to 23 But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, forbearance, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Against such things there is no law. Isaiah 32 verse 17 The fruit of that righteousness will be peace. Its effect will be quietness and confidence forever. Proverbs 20 verse 3 It is to one's honor to avoid strife, but every fool is quick to quarrel. 2 Timothy 2 verse 22 Flee the evil desires of youth and pursue righteousness, faith, love, and peace, 
along with those who call on the Lord out of a pure heart. Matthew 5 verses 23 to 24. Therefore, if you are offering your gift at the altar and there remember that your brother or sister has something against you, leave your gift there in front of the altar. First go and be reconciled to them, then come and offer your gift. Proverbs 29 verse 22. An angry person stirs up conflict, and a hot-tempered person commits many sins. Proverbs 18 verse 19. A brother wronged is more unyielding than a fortified city. Disputes are like the barred gates of a citadel. Hebrews 13 verses 20 to 21. Now may the God of peace, who through the blood of the eternal covenant brought back from the dead our Lord Jesus, that great shepherd of the sheep, equip you with everything good for doing his will, and may he work in us what is pleasing to him, through Jesus Christ, to whom be glory forever and ever. Amen. Psalm 122 verses 6 to 7. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. May those who love you be secure. May there be peace within your walls and security within your citadels. Romans 12 verse 18. If it is possible, as far as it depends on you, live at peace with everyone. Psalm 37 verse 11. But the meek will inherit the land and enjoy peace and prosperity. Isaiah 26 verse 3. You will keep in perfect peace those whose minds are steadfast, because they trust in you. Romans 15 verse 13. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in him so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. Colossians 3 verse 15 Let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, since as members of one body you were called to peace. And be thankful. Isaiah 52 verse 7 How beautiful on the mountains are the feet of those who bring good news, who proclaim peace, who bring good tidings, who proclaim salvation, who say to Zion, your God reigns. Romans 16 verse 20. The God of peace will soon crush Satan under your feet. The grace of our Lord Jesus be with you. Isaiah 9 verse 6. For to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulders. And he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Matthew 10 verse 34. Do not suppose that I have come to bring peace to the earth. I did not come to bring peace, but a sword. John 14 verse 27. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. Luke 2 verse 14. Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace to those on whom his favor rests. 2 Timothy 2 verse 24. And the Lord's servant must not be quarrelsome, but must be kind to everyone, able to teach, not resentful. Proverbs 17 verse 1. Better a dry crust with peace and quiet than a house full of feasting with strife. Proverbs 15 verse 1. A gentle answer turns away wrath, but a harsh word stirs up anger. Proverbs 16 verse 32. Better a patient person than a warrior, one with self-control than one who takes a city. 1 Peter 3 verse 9. Do not repay evil with evil or insult with insult, 
On the contrary, repay evil with blessing, because to this you were called so that you may inherit a blessing. Psalm 85 verse 10 Love and faithfulness meet together. Righteousness and peace kiss each other. Romans 8 verse 6 The mind governed by the flesh is death, but the mind governed by the Spirit is life and peace. Psalm 28 verse 7 The Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusts in Him, and He helps me. My heart leaps for joy, and with my song I praise Him. Proverbs 15 verse 33 Wisdom's instruction is to fear the Lord, and humility comes before honor. Proverbs 13 verse 10 Where there is strife, there is pride, but wisdom is found in those who take advice. James 3 verse 13 Who is wise and understanding among you? Let them show it by their good life by deeds done in the humility that comes from wisdom. Proverbs 2 verse 6 For the Lord gives wisdom, from his mouth come knowledge and understanding. James 1 verse 5 If any of you lacks wisdom, you should ask God, who gives generously to all without finding fault, and it will be given to you. 1 Corinthians 3 verse 18 Do not deceive yourselves. If any of you think you are wise by the standards of this age, you should become fools so that you may become wise. Proverbs 4 verse 7 The beginning of wisdom is this, get wisdom. Though it costs all you have, get understanding. Proverbs 9 verse 10 The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, and knowledge of the Holy One is understanding. Colossians 2 verses 2 to 3 My goal is that they may be encouraged in heart and united in love, so that they may have the full riches of complete understanding, in order that they may know the mystery of God, namely, Christ in whom are hidden all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. 1 Corinthians 1 verse 24 But to those whom God has called, both Jews and Greeks, Christ the power of God and the wisdom of God. Proverbs 1 verse 7 The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. James 3 verse 17 But the wisdom that comes from heaven is first of all pure, then peace-loving, considerate, submissive, full of mercy and good fruit, impartial and sincere. Colossians 3 verse 16 Let the message of Christ dwell among you richly as you teach and admonish one another with all wisdom through psalms, hymns, and songs from the Spirit, singing to God with gratitude in your hearts. Proverbs 3 verse 13 Blessed are those who find wisdom, those who gain understanding. Proverbs 16 verse 16 How much better to get wisdom than gold, to get insight rather than silver? Ecclesiastes 7 verse 12 Wisdom is a shelter as money is a shelter, but the advantage of knowledge is this, wisdom preserves those who have it. Colossians 4 verses 5 to 6 Be wise in the way you act toward outsiders. Make the most of every opportunity. Let your conversation be always full of grace, seasoned with salt so that you may know how to answer everyone. Proverbs 2 verse 10 For wisdom will enter your heart, and knowledge will be pleasant to your soul. Proverbs 3 verse 21 My son, 
Do not let wisdom and understanding out of your sight. Preserve sound judgment and discretion. Proverbs 8 verse 11 For wisdom is more precious than rubies, and nothing you desire can compare with her. Proverbs 19 verse 8 The one who gets wisdom loves life. The one who cherishes understanding will soon prosper. Ephesians 4 verse 32 Be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving each other, just as in Christ God forgave you. Colossians 3 verse 13 Bear with each other and forgive one another if any of you has a grievance against someone. Forgive as the Lord forgave you. Matthew 18 verses 21 to 22 then Peter came to Jesus and asked, Lord, how many times shall I forgive my brother or sister who sins against me? Up to seven times? Jesus answered, I tell you, not seven times, but seventy-seven times. Ephesians 4 verse 31 Get rid of all bitterness, rage and anger, brawling and slander, along with every form of malice. Luke 17 verses 3 to 4 So watch yourselves. If your brother or sister sins against you, rebuke them, and if they repent, forgive them. Even if they sin against you seven times in a day and seven times come back to you saying, I repent, you must forgive them. Matthew 6 verses 14 to 15 For if you forgive other people when they sin against you, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if you do not forgive others their sins, your Father will not forgive your sins. Colossians 3 verses 12 to 13 Therefore, as God's chosen people, Holy and dearly loved, clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. Bear with each other and forgive one another if any of you has a grievance against someone. Forgive as the Lord forgave you. Mark 11 verse 25 And when you stand praying, if you hold anything against anyone, forgive them so that your Father in heaven may forgive you your sins. Romans 12 verses 20 to 21 On the contrary, if your enemy is hungry, feed him. If he is thirsty, give him something to drink. In doing this, you will heap burning coals on his head. Do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. 1 Corinthians 13 verses 4 to 5 Love is patient, love is kind. It does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud. It does not dishonor others, it is not self-seeking, it is not easily angered, it keeps no record of wrongs. Matthew 6 verse 12 And forgive us our debts, as we also have forgiven our debtors. Psalm 32 verse 1 Blessed is the one whose transgressions are forgiven, whose sins are covered. Luke 6 verse 37 Do not judge, and you will not be judged. Do not condemn, and you will not be condemned. Forgive, and you will be forgiven. Isaiah 43 verse 25 I, even I, am he who blots out your transgressions for my own sake and remembers your sins no more. Matthew 18 verse 15 If your brother or sister sins, go and point out their fault just between the two of you. If they listen to you, you have won them over. 2 Corinthians 2 verse 10 Anyone you forgive, I also forgive. 
and what I have forgiven if there was anything to forgive I have forgiven in the sight of Christ for your sake. Romans 4 verse 7 Blessed are those whose transgressions are forgiven, whose sins are covered. Psalm 103 verse 12 As far as the east is from the west, so far has he removed our transgressions from us. Micah 7 verse 18 Who is a God like you, who pardons sin and forgives the transgression of the remnant of his inheritance? You do not stay angry forever but delight to show mercy. Acts 3 verse 19 Repent then, and turn to God, so that your sins may be wiped out, that times of refreshing may come from the Lord. Psalm 130 verses 3 to 4 If you, Lord, kept a record of sins, Lord, who could stand? But with you there is forgiveness, so that we can, with reverence, serve you. Isaiah 1 verse 18 Come now, let us settle the matter. Though your sins are like scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Though they are red as crimson, they shall be like wool. 1 John 1 verse 9 If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just and will forgive us our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness. Ephesians 1 verse 7 In him we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins, in accordance with the riches of God's grace.